Hello guys and ghouls, and welcome to the show. My name's Kevin, and this is my channel, The Art of Horror. Uh, today I'm drawing for you a thing. I'm, I'm not sure uh, what it was going to be until it came out. I was just letting the, uh, the pen talk, no working out of course. Uh, just letting the universe flow through and see what comes out on the paper. Uh, today I'd like to talk a bit about my favourite movie, The Thing, by John Carpenter. It's one of my favourite movies. Uh, I love especially um, the feeling of dread and isolation that movie creates, being set in the Antarctic. It's the equivalent of, of being on a ship or, or being on a spaceship in, in outer space. Uh, if something goes wrong, then that's it. It's going to go terribly wrong. There is no out in that sort of situation, and I like that survival element to the film. And the practical effects by Rob Bertin are some of the most amazing, and still to this day, some of the most incredible uh, special effects I have ever seen. Uh, I think they even blow uh, the computer graphics of today away. Uh, people could learn a lot from those sorts of practical effects. The creature design is especially good. Um, when I first saw that film, I wasn't even sure what I was looking at in many of the scenes. That sense of mystery uh, of looking at an alien creature actually is, is, is one of the things that creates and helps towards the sense of dread. It could be anyone, it could be anything at any time and you, and you don't know where it's going to pop up and try and kill somebody and, and that just adds to the fear I think. The idea that this creature could be anybody creates especially a sense of, of paranoia coupled with the darkness and the bleakness. It has to be one of my favourite films of all time. I've watched it multiple times and I never get sick of it and I always find something new every time I watch it as well. Usually a couple of years goes by and, and I'll sit down, give it a viewing and, and relive that sense of dread all over again. John Carpenter's music is uh, very good as well and really adds to the atmosphere. In fact, he's one of my favourite musicians. Uh, I love listening to John Carpenter tracks. I think one of the best parts in the film is when Kurt Russell's character works out a method to test people to see if they are the creature. And I don't want to give too much away in case you haven't seen the film, but uh, it's one of the scariest parts, definitely. If you haven't seen John Carpenter's version of The Thing, uh, rush out and get it immediately, because it has to be one of the best horror movies of all time. There's lots of shocking moments in that movie, not, not just jump scares, but you are visually assaulted. It really messes with your mind. Kurt Russell's performance is uh, absolutely standout. And all the other actors in the movie do a, a fine job as well. There's a sense of realism here that really adds to the scariness and the bleakness. I didn't mind the newer version of The Thing but it definitely doesn't hold a candle to John Carpenter's version. The direction and the special effects are just unsurpassable in my opinion. So much so it would have to be one of my all-time scariest movies. A lot of other horror movies, whilst entertaining, don't actually frighten me that much, whereas, uh, whereas The Thing always has me on the edge of my seat. Even now, after multiple viewings and knowing what's going to happen. If 
you have any questions about my artwork or would like to discuss anything to do with horror movies or artwork, please add them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to take this moment to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, I do mo this mostly for myself, and if somebody else wants to join in for the ride, then you are more than welcome. If my interests can bring pleasure to somebody else, then that is an absolute bonus. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more if you liked this. You all have a wonderful day. Goodbye for now.